Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be sharing my makeup for spring. This is a makeup that I like doing on an everyday basis and it doesn't take me long to get ready. It takes me about 10 minutes to do this makeup as an everyday makeup and every product that I share in this video it's cruelty free and vegan which means that these brands don't test on animals and they don't contain any ingredient that is from animal source and I'm gonna leave in the description box all the links if you're interested in getting the ones that I have but if you don't then you can use similar colors to achieve this look and the colors that I went for are like subtle pink and light brown, kind of like earth tones. And not a lot of makeup going on, especially with the hot weather in Miami. So it's something that I can do quickly and at the same time, I don't feel like I have a lot on my face. And I feel like my makeup is going to melt with the really hot weather. <laughs> So I really hope you like it and without talking anymore, let's begin. So to start, I'm going to use rose water to clean my face. And with this, I clean my whole face. And you're going to see some spots on my face like this one and this one because yesterday I was taking out my blackheads. And then I apply jojoba oil to keep my face hydrated. And I will apply it just a little bit. And whatever I have left over, I apply it on my arms or my legs. Even on my lips. And then I apply just like a base or a primer and the one that I'm gonna be applying is Bobbi Brown and I really like this one because it leaves the skin really soft and as you can see I just have a little bit of leftover. And I always get questions about the beet juice coloring on the hair. And as you can see, it does last a long time. I haven't even touched my hair in months. And you can still see the difference. And the base that I'm going to be using is this one by 100% Pure. And it's really natural and it's currently my favorite one. I just shake it. And I'm really careful because sometimes it has fallen on my clothes. And you can squeeze the pump and I have my beauty blender with water and I will dab this on my face and if I want more coverage I apply a second layer As a powder, I have this one by Milani. And then after powder, I like applying concealer because I already have powder and I feel that way it stays longer. And with my finger, I just dab it on. And then as a blush, I'm using this one by 100% Pure, which I love this brand. And the one that I have is Peppermint Candy, and it literally smells like mint. I really love it. And as you can see, my cat dropped it, and I almost have nothing left from the sides. And this way we have a little bit of color and to hydrate my lips I'm using this one that has coconut oil I just apply a little bit because it's more than enough 
and on top I applied this one by Lush in Latte which is like a bronzy color and moving on to the eyes I'm gonna be using this Naked palette in Basics and it's like a summary of the big palettes so in general I use this color WOS which is like a soft pinky tone or either Naked 2 which is kind of like a cream but then kind of like a light brown today I'm gonna use this one Naked 2 So for today's makeup, because it's my everyday makeup, I only use one. But then on weekends, when I like playing more with my makeup, then I do like combining these colors for a different look. As an eyeliner, I'm going to be using this one by e.l.f. And it is in basic brown. And it's more like a bronzy color. And I like doing a really thin line. Just like here. I don't know if you can see it. And instead of using a black one, I like this one that I see brown because it's not a dramatic effect and it's really nice for an everyday look. And as an inside liner, I like using this one instead of the automatic pencil. I like this one that you are able to sharpen. And I apply this one inside my eye. So before I continue with my eyebrows, I'm going to use this eyebrow kit that I have showed so many times, but it's my favorite one. And what I do, I always save the shape of the eyebrow that I like. Before I used to use the brown one a lot, but now lately I really like the black one. I apply little bits. So I apply the eyebrow shape on my eye and then I just fill it in. And there you can see the difference. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side. And almost done as a mascara. I really like this one by Pacifica. And the one that I have is Stardust, which is like a brown tone. And with this one, I only apply two layers if I want a really dramatic effect, if not just one. I apply one coat and then I just turn it around and I apply the second coat so I already have mascara on both eyes and then I'm gonna apply it on my both bottom lashes and then to finish the whole basic look I use this lipstick by elf which is pretty pink which is like a soft pinkish color So as a natural perfume, I always like to go with oil perfumes and the one that I have now is Kumba Me in Wind Dancer which is a really subtle scent and it's floral and I really love it. And what I like to do, I dab it behind my ears and on my wrists and then I just do this. <laughs> So that's it you guys, as for my hair, I usually leave it like this, this is my natural hair and it's really fast for me, I apply some type of oil or a cream for my hair but on weekends I do like to straighten my hair. Um, so it's just something simple, quick and fast and this makeup takes me less than 10 minutes to get ready. But in this video, because I'm explaining what I'm doing, it could end up being a short or a long video, I'm not sure. But I really hope you liked it. And what I'm wearing right now is this really simple dress with lace. And it's really pretty and so comfy. So thanks for watching and I hope you like being in my bathroom for the first time. Let me know if you like videos here or in the bedroom. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Kisses! Bye!
Thank you.